driving up the road and we came onto this Hell's Gate, which is this cable system that takes you across the, the river. The Fraser, British Columbia's longest river, is named for the Canadian Northwest Company fur trader, Simon Fraser, who explored its route in 1808. We're gonna go in and see if we can get on there and take a ride. I mean, that's part of the trip is just seeing the scenery and some of the sights and, and uh, what BC's got to offer. And this is pretty neat right here. Nice yes, to meet you. you. Yes, sir. It's the deepest and narrowest part of the Fraser River. It's about 110 feet wide, and today's roughly 174 feet deep. Fix you something deep. That's one right there. Look, it's a mini me. <laughs> Want me to get a picture of you? You're welcome. I have to tell you, it's a little scary. This thing is shaking. That's a lot of water coming through there. I can't imagine taking a raft down here, but I'm gonna put it on my bucket list. I'm gonna raft this. I mean, we're traveling up the highway. We just had to stop and see this. It's incredible. Take me to Clinton. Clinton is where the true interior of British Columbia begins and where outfitter Bruce Ambler operates Bighorn Country Guiding for sheep, moose, and black bear. When did this hunt start? Oh, I guess many years ago when I met Bruce at the Eastern Finaz. He seemed like a pretty good guy to me and somebody that I'd probably like to have in my camp hunt with me. Last year, we went up on a mule deer, moose, and a California bighorn and that completed my second slam of sheep on the California Bighorn. We had a, a great time together and uh, got talking about a spring bear hunt. So there you go. Uh, it's it's uh, spring of the next year and we're up here hunting black bear with Bruce Ambler. Let's go bear hunt. Yeah, we stopped, check these grass around these old homestead. You can see right here where these bears fed right around that, that old cabin, same thing over there. This time of year, man, it's just like a lawnmower. They come in and just nibble the grass off, you know. You can just see right here, right this circle. I can't tell what size bear it is for sure, but got bear sign for sure. Pretty fresh right there, going both ways. Got his toes right here going this way and he's going that way. Tells you he's moving back and forth. This time of year, we're gonna eat a lot of grass, pop of butt, skunk, cabbage, things like that, but they're gonna be on the green. He's been in here a lot, you can see. He's been all over laying down, eating it. Looks like you put a lawnmower in here. I love BC. I've hunted up here several times. I think I've taken almost everything that BC's got. And that is a fantastic British Columbia black bear right there. But BC's good to me. I've, I've hunted up here and I enjoy it. We got a bear to look at it. Looks like a pretty good bear. From what we can see, he's under that tree. Oh, that's a beautiful looking bear. That brown nose on him is beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice bear. It's wide open here, so we're really got nothing between him and us. We'll just let him play. The wind is right. He's going to come right down to us here, I think. We had decided we were going to get in close. I mean, up close and personal. He's got to go one side or the other of that pond. Yeah, it was hot. He'd just come down to the little pond and get a drink. He'd probably go back up over the hill. There were several places it could go. It could go to the right, it could go to the left, but the good news is it was early enough where we could actually follow this bear all day. This is a good situation. Oh, he's going to go to the left. Feel that wind is switching. The wind is messed up right now. It's the middle of the afternoon. The thermals could be changed. switching us. We was going one way. Wind switch, we're gonna get a turn around and go back the other way. She's 200 yards now. See that big rock right there? That's 161. 
That's 161, he's 200 yards. He's right in his belly. Yeah. I wonder if he smells us. He's acting like he does, you know that? He's working his territory. He's rubbing on that. Look at that thing. Guy can shoot him from that rock if I can get to it. How far is the bear from here? 164. He gets out in the open enough, I should be able to get him. Folkrod's armed for bear with his model 1886 4570 with 300 grain Winchester dual bond ammunition. And to get ready, he trained hard back home in Pennsylvania. Putting some milk jugs out, get them swinging a little bit. We got them going back and forth and it's a matter of pick one out, go for the shot, next one, next one, see if we can get them all. Whew, that's really going. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Now, you think we're ready for a BC bear? I don't think they're ready for us. Well, one thing's for sure, I definitely got my confidence up in this 4570. If I had my 300, I could take a bear out there at 300 yards, but I'm not. I'm taking a 4570. It's 50 yards or less. That's my goal. This episode of Training Camp was brought to you by Winchester Ammunition. The American legend. And all of a sudden it was just like, you know, he read the script. He just started walking. And, and he was walking right to us. Kept getting closer and closer. And he could come right up to us. 116, 107, 105. Yeah. The bear's just coming closer and closer. And we just said, let him come, let him come. Pretty soon about, the, <laughs> he was about 30 yards away. All right, <laughs> what, a, what a perfect stock that was, man. Can you believe he come up to us like that? Ah, oh, the old 4570, huh? That is too cool right there. Nice bear, nice bear. That's what we come to BC for, huh? Hey, that 300 grain bullets knocked his socks off, didn't it? <laughs> he whacked him on the second one, too. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. That's too cool, Good man. Job. He read the script, didn't he? Couldn't have did it any better. <laughs> I mean, couldn't have done any better if I told him. One bear with a 4570, and that's what we came to BC for. That was fantastic. It's about the adventure and the people you're hunting with. And Lots had of such, time. Had such good a good time. time last fall. Had to come back and do her again. Good. Yeah. I got to say the same. Yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun. Quite often, you, you know, you get so involved with hunts that you or fast and free, you can't wait to get there and then you get your animal and all of a sudden you leave and you forget to just slow down and look around, you know? Uh, enjoy some of the sights and the people and, and, and what each town has to offer. What Clinton, B.C. has to offer is a history dating back to gold rush days, once a roadhouse on the trail to the Caribou gold fields. Clinton today boasts one of Canada's longest running festivals, the Clinton Annual Ball held every year since 1868. Clinton used to be called Four Corners because the two methods of the Gold Rush Trail would come up and meet here and then proceed on up to the gold fields. Yeah. So this was an original roadhouse and the roadhouses all along. This is Gold Rush history right here. Yeah, we're just taking in the scenes, man. We got a parade that starts here in a few minutes and then we got a rodeo outside of the town and dancing tonight. That's right, yeah. Look, she looks like me. Everybody loves a parade. Nothing better than a, a good parade in a small town. That's right, that's right. Yeah, we're gonna head down to the rodeo now. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the whole town got the line to get ready for rodeo. We're glad to see a great crowd here off the gate in 2011 for another great rodeo. Oh man, that had to hurt. Bulls, one, rider, zero. <laughs> Maybe I'll get on there and do this calf steering or, you know, whatever. There's actually a wild horse horse uh, race that you could enter. Not. Nah. <laughs> How many fans do we have for Bruce Ambler? Hey! Bruce even got into the pack and uh, 
had three teams there where they could see who could get their boots on and get packed up and ride around the, the arena real quick. And it was a good time by all. It really was. And uh, I'm glad we took the, the time to, to go see that. Finally, the nice weather's here. Guess what? We'll be bear hunting tomorrow. across the back. How far away is he? 158. It's not as big as the one you got. I don't think so. I think you'd be disappointed if you shot him. He just looks big to me. Average bear. He was half decent, but we can do better. I love to hunt bears. I've taken all the species of bears. I just had this fascination with bears. I mean, I just, I couldn't get enough of them. I took them in Quebec, uh, spot and stalk, tree stands, uh, shot them with long bows, recurves, flint locks, muzzle loaders, inlines, just about everything you can think of. And I've never had anything come at me except for one, and I was actually in his path in caribou camp. You guys stay here, okay? That way to keep down on the scent. I don't know what he's got over there, but he's came out twice now, come down and get a drink, so we'll go back and we'll pick him up, eh? I could see, okay, he's drinking, so I went over and I got in the same trail that he was in, and. All of a sudden, he come back up, and God, I can't see him. I can see the alders moving, you know, and all of a sudden, he breaks out about six or seven steps away, and he's coming up like this. I realize I don't have a shot at him, so I went, Psst. And he picked his head up to see what it was, and I tucked an arrow down and under his chin into his chest. He rolled down the hill, and he comes right back up at me again. Boom, and I hit him, and I hit him with that broad head, and I hit him in the top of the head. You could watch the arrow actually go up in the air and fall back down. Anyway, he kind of set back down, and he turned around, and he ran down the river. And I mean, this bear is running. His back feet are going in front of his, his head, and he's running. And I swung on him with a bow, and you can see the arrow come out of the bow and double lung him, and that was another encounter. I've had lots and lots of encounters with bears, and, and, and I love every one of them. Ain't nothing like a stalk on the ground for a bear, eh? We may have a keeper. And here this big black bear is right out in the open meadow. And I said, here's our chance, let's go for it. They'll feed out in the open and wander their way towards the timber. If we just work our way right along the timber line, I know right where they're gonna go back into them shadows. We'll just wait back there along the shadow line and wait for them to come into the timber. Sounds like a plan. Well, let's do it then. Wind's in our face, bear's over there, shell's in my pocket. Got your son here with you on a trying to stalk a bear. Life is good. Life is good. What made this particular hunt just really great is uh, having my boy with me, Cody, says, Dad, can I come along? And I says, absolutely. Uh, next generation of guide. Where's your hunting hat? True. I don't wear a hat. It's Saturday, so Cody's home from school, so what an experience for a young guy to go along with us. I can give you a dozen reasons why to wear a hat. You can't give me one not to wear a hat. It just makes this whole hunting experience just that much more fun to be out there with your, your youngins. up over this little rise and there he is out there at about 250 yards a little bit of a crosswind circling a little bit it just wasn't a good spot uh, to get the shot that we wanted I think we gotta try to get this way a little bit more the wind is kind of spinning around let's just sneak out of here Bob he was 200 yards away but uh, using the shotgun I like to get him 150 100 yards something like that Folkrod loaded his Winchester Super X3 12 gauge slug gun with dual bond Sabo slugs. The dual bond slug provides nearly 100% retained weight and two times the expansion. The groundbreaking bonding technology welds the core to the jacket. And then a second heavy outer jacket is mechanically bonded to create a revolutionary bullet within a bullet. Right inside the wood line. We can see him. Thank you. 
We got in there, we could see him just over the hill, and the wind was kind of swirling, so we got over in a kind of a ravine, and I was hoping that ravine would pull our scent down. Made a stalk around, getting the wind perfectly in our face, so we come up over this little rise, and the bear, like we sent the script to him again, is walking straight towards us, no more than 60 yards, and coming our way. You gotta move, it gets pretty tense, but Everything's good. He doesn't anticipate us at all. The wind is in our face. Perfect situation. And I'm just crawling up, moving my camera and my shotgun up closer and closer and closer. Finally got up over top of the hill. The bear comes up to about 30 yards, turns around, starts feeding back. There's always that little bit of anticipation. Could he come over and get you? I like that thrill. I like that thrill of the stock. When he turns up. He's done. Oh man, good stock. That valley gave us the wind we need when it was swirling. Well, we there's got, the second one. We got the second one. One bear with a 4570 and one with a shotgun. What a trip. Anytime you can get a young guy out here hunting, you do her. I got my son with us to make a stock rate right into 30 yards on the ground with him right with us and, and he's just loving the whole thing. Just the best way to experience the whole thing is with your young ones. So when it was all said and done, we had lots of stories to tell. We reminisced on the old days, the new days, and uh, guess what, Bruce hasn't seen the last of me. Whether you're a hunter, shooter, or both, Winchester has you covered online. Visit winchester.com to learn about innovative new products, promotions, and what ammo to choose for your next adventure. Launch the award-winning ballistics calculator. Customize your shooting conditions and choose and compare your favorite ammo from five categories. Download the app for your iPhone and carry the ballistics calculator with you in the field or on the range. Be a part of the Winchester Hunting and Shooting Nation. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. From expert hunting and shooting tips to exclusive video footage and news, Winchester is your online resource for all things hunting and shooting. Winchester.com. Experience the American legend. There you go, young fella. I got, well, I need two of them. Thank you, sir. Where's the beef? It's in there. I'm just going to get a little horseradish. That's excellent. I got to have some of this, uh, some salmon chowder. Oh, that's good.